Hi guys! Today we are gonna do a new math center uh, related with time, but it's not just about telling time, but about more about it's a concept that is called a last, a last time. <laughs> the time that, for instance, if I start working, cooking my cookies at 10 in the morning and I end at 11.30, how much time I have spent preparing my cookies, things like that. Or if you start your um, karate lesson at 6 and it's one hour long, what time are you going to be done with your lesson, things like that. It's super practical life because this is something we use all every day, all the time. So listen carefully and you're gonna be doing good. The materials you are, I'm going to need is this paper. This you will you can find it in on canvas. You can also draw your own. These two clocks, the begin the starting time, the ending time, and a number line that is going to be pretty helpful. And then on canvas for day one, you will have a eight different task cards where you need to find the last time and on day two you will need to find you will find another eight task card part uh, about problems so it's kind of the same kind of similar but if you start with the clocks i think it's going to be a little easier and because of that i prefer that order so let's start with the one and you will have a recording sheet with the name, the number of your cards and a place to write the solution and send it to me okay so first card imagine find the last time in hours and minutes the starting time is The short handle, that is for hours, if you remember, is pointing at number 10. You can start writing the numbers of the clock over here. I'm gonna use a different, a different marker. Two on the top, three over here, six. It's the way I do it. <laughs> you can just go by counting by ones. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so the hour handle, the short one, sorry, is pointing at the ten. And the long one is pointing at the twelve. So, a starting time, we need to put this analogical clock into a digital one. This is 10 o'clock. 10 in the hours part and zero zero because the hour the 10 hours are just starting. Remember that in the minute part we also need to have two digits. So because of that I write two zeros. Ending time the short handle is in between three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is in between one and two and a half. And the minute one for sure is pointing at the six. First thing that you need to do is to write the ending time and time in an, a digital way. So if the hour handle is in between one and two, it means that it's not two yet. So it needs to be one. One hour. How many minutes? Pues you can count the minutes starting here, that is the zero minutes as we saw, and go by ones or count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, or yes, remember that the 6 
means that is the half of the hour that an hour has 60 minutes so the half will be 30 minutes there are so many strategies you can use for the clock depending on lots of stuff you're gonna use one strategy or, or another one and you will arrive maybe you need to start counting the minutes by one or by five and then next week or the next one or next month you we already practice a few times and you remember that this is the half and this is third okay let's work on finding the elapsed time i'm gonna use the number line the start time 10 hours ending time 1 30 okay so imagine i start i go to the grocery stop store at 10 it's going to be a lot i don't know why well i go to school at 10 and i end at 1 30 because i am in How much time have passed here? Vale. So I'm gonna count and the same. You can use your own strategy. For me, what makes much more sense is to count by hours because actually I am starting with an hour, a whole hour. And let's see what happened at the end. A ver, this will be 11 o'clock. This will be 12 o'clock. This will be 1 o'clock. Let's see. From 10 to 11, I have 1 hour. From 11 to 12, I have 1 hour. From 12 to 1, I have 1 hour. And from 1 to 1.30, I have 30 minutes so i just need to put all together one hour plus one hour plus one hour three hours and how many minutes 30 minutes Ta -da! and i'm done so i will go over here and i will write in my recording seat three hours 30 minutes Let's do another example. Oh, oh, well, maybe you shouldn't erase the numbers, or maybe you should. <laughs> you can, you have another chance to practice. Another card. From the short handle. is pointing in between two and three the short one that is for the hours and the long one for the minutes is pointing at six. First thing write it digitally what time is in this clock if it's in between two and three it means that it's not three yet so it needs to be two two hours. How many minutes? It's the same that we did before. So I remember that this means 30 minutes. You can count the minutes by one, by fives, by 15 plus 15, using fractions, whatever works for you. And in time, the short handle is pointing directly at the four. And the long one is pointing to the 12. What time is in this clock? Analogical, digital, four hours. Is it busy? How many minutes? Zero. So it's four o'clock. Okay, now let's do the same. A starting time, 2.30. Ending time, four. Imagine that I go to the gym at 
and I went out at four. How much time I would be there? Okay, let's do the same. And this is again what makes more sense to me. Look at my example. The ending time, this time is a whole hour. And the starting time has 30 minutes. So my strategy is going to be, okay, I'm going to arrive to the next hour. That is three. And then count by hours. Okay, you don't do it. It doesn't make sense. If three, three will come over here. You will see why. Three, okay? So how much time I have in between 2.30 and 3? 30 minutes. Muy bien. And then from 3 to 4 is one hour. One hour. So I just need to put everything together and I arrive to my ending time. 30 minutes and an hour, elapsed time is one hour, remember that the hours are greater, so they come first, and then the minutes, 30 minutes. And that's the way, <laughs> keep practicing. Sometimes you're gonna find 15 minutes, blocks, things, different kind of things. And when you're working with the problems is kind of the same, but you need to do more comprehension. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.